KRT students. With this week's HQ challenge, we are going to do a blood gas interpretation. And if you're struggling with this a little bit, I have a video on my YouTube channel that uses what I call the ABG fast fact sheet to walk you through how to interpret an ABG. But let's just start with this one. All right, the first thing I do when I interpret an ABG is I label all the components of it. Now, when I say that, what I'm really meaning is I'm labeling the acid base balance components at first, okay? So a pH of 7. 0.15 is an acidotic pH, right? So I'm just going to say it creates an, we have an acidosis going on. The CO2, and I use arrows here, the CO2 is elevated. Well, anytime the CO2 increases, it creates an acidosis. All right. And so we're going to skip the oxygen, we'll come back to that. The bicarbonate is 18. That's a low bicarbonate, and a low bicarbonate creates an acidosis also. Okay, so once I get all of these labeled, I go back to the pH. The pH is going to tell us the overall condition. So we have an acidosis going on. Then I look at the CO2 and the bicarb, and I ask myself, which one of these is responsible for that acidosis? And if I have them labeled right, all I have to do is read the word, okay? Both the CO2 and the bicarb are responsible. So this is a mixed acidosis. Some people call it a combination acidosis. If you want to write a lot of words, you can say it a combination respiratory and metabolic acidosis. But what you need to get out of it is both systems are contributing to this acidotic condition. All right, so once you get the acid-base balance interpreted, then you go out back up to the PaO2. And this is really simple. You've learned the degrees of hypoxemia, right? 80 to 100 millimeters of mercury is normal. 60 to 79 is mild. 40 to 59 is moderate. And anything less than 40 is severe hypoxemia. So uh, 54 lands right in that moderate Hypoxemia. Okay, so there's the interpretation. Hope this has helped. See you soon.